hello welcome to my channel my name is Aziza I'm reading today for the sign of Leo for love and relationship for the month of May You do a lot of effort with someone, but you keep being confused about someone. <sighs> this person is really bringing you a gift. I know they are coming from somewhere and bringing you a gift. They remember you and they think about you a lot. It's not like they forget about you, no. At least, like, you know, they consider to bring you a gift. Maybe that is the right sentence. And I get here, they are rewarding you for your effort and work with them. But I get here that they get really mad and angry when you show your jealousy. They don't want you to be jealous anymore. This person loves you so much. And it says here, if you have been really disappointed with your confidence, your confidence is going to come back. And they feel like, you know, that... I want a, a way to relax because there was some kind of like, you know, maybe struggle between you two that make the person like, you know, really stressed sometimes. They want you to be happy. They want you to be real, like, you know, just uh, positive and enjoy your time with, with him or her. And I get here, your person is really very responsible. You have extra work added, like, you know, if you have a job, it seems to be that you are going to have a part-time, like, I'm sorry. It could be a part-time job, like, you know, maybe another part-time job or a different job or a second job. But I see overtime for you. Whoever, like, you know, working, I see overtime for you and I get here business and money is going to be really, like, you know, very good with you. You will have, like, you know, really your confidence and your security here. You can't really, like, you know, really be mad and angry. Because you feel like you know, that you are not really being treated the way you should be treated. You want to be really treated better. You feel sometimes you want to push your person away. And I get here your person still wants you, but they feel like you know, sometimes you are kind of like don't really understand him or her. They feel negative about, you know, the way you respond to him or her. They want really to come and visit. You, they want you to go and visit. They want to be around you. It's kind of like that you are in rejection. They don't like it. They come to you like you know, with all of this love and you are like in the back of your mind, click, click, click. Do they mean it? They want me? No, one. no. Shall I choose it? Shall I choose someone else? Maybe I need someone else. Maybe... Maybe I have to keep my, uh, two people in the same time. Maybe I, I don't know. Like you keep being like, you know, undecided in decision, like, you know, in a way that you want to move on from someone already that, you know, for you to be with someone else, but you feel like, you know, every time you take one step forward, you go backwards again, 10 steps behind. You don't know what to do. You become strong and powerful and great. Then suddenly you get weak again. It's like, oh, I need to choose. I'm not really sure if I choose this one or that one. Even though you speak very well, you kind of like, you know, really like, you know, just you're pretty, you're beautiful, sexy. There's nothing wrong, but you cannot make a decision about someone because you feel like, you know, okay, I'm having negative vibes from that person. Your person become, yes, you are picking on negative vibes because when you talk to your uh, person, when he or she coming to you with love and they try to be really with you and try to be really like managing 
to have really a good relationship with you, you start to be like, you know, really talking about other people or showing your jealousy or your insecurity about, are you alone? Do you have someone else that makes him or her like, you know, become negative at that moment and you feel that negative? That negative come from this person because upon what you speak, you come too close to that person, then suddenly you push them away. No, 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 prove to me that you want me. Prove to me that you love me. They do. This person sincerely loves you. This person really loves you. And I get here that they consider to be really in a relationship with you. Some that they want to get married to you and bring a ring also to, for engagement. But they are if they feel like you know, that you are mad at him or her for some reason they don't understand. Your person is trying to do an effort to come to you to have really that good new relationship between you two or renew the relationship. You want someone from your past that you get along with more or you are in love with. <clears throat> then you say, okay, the other person is not coming around. I love this one too. And this person come to you. They want to move forward with you and do an effort. But suddenly they become negative because your response, the way you speak to that person. Let go of any anger, jealousy, or control at this time. You want this person, you are going to go ahead and get ahead with that person and move forward. This person attracted to you romantically and sexually. And they want really to have this new relationship. And they want you to be really separating from irritating the situation because they are showing you responsibility in the new relationship between you two. And it says here you are becoming like you know, sometimes more stubborn. You are not listening. You say, okay, this person come forward. Then they walk away. Why did they do that? A person come to you with love and consider you and value you. You keep really like you know, being worried that he or she like you know, doesn't love you enough. Maybe they are using you and they love someone else. Or they have other people that they sleep with or communicate with. It's only you. And I get here that sometimes we open our person mind about other people and keep saying that you know what about that person or that person as soon as you say it they keep thinking about that person already and they haven't been really on their mind but what you are missing here that you need to stop and remain confident you will be happy receive the love welcome the love open your heart for the love the love comes to you you are rejecting it. You become like you no know, angry and negative. It's kind of like, no, 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 no. This person is lying to me and playing games with me. I should not really respond back to that person. And this is when everything becomes negative and you become lonely. And you say, now, now what? Nobody can force someone to be really coming to you all of these years. No one. You cannot do force this person to be with you if he or she doesn't want to be with you. This person come on their own with their free will because they love you and care for you. So you need to stop being angry and stubborn and try to start really like, you know, every time that you miss this person, you bring them back and then you push them away. How you push them away? Of your action. The way you talk to them. You stress everything out. And instead of having positive new beginning and have a strong bond and keep going and going and going for this to grow more between you two, you stress it out. Of your fear. Worry. Says here, I want to marry you, your person. And you let me go. I approach you for marriage. And you let me go. And you think that this person may be still like involved uh, with someone else or married to someone else. It says here, no, I'm free. He's free or she's free. You really love this person and you are happy to be around them. 
This is really like, you know, really very positive. And I get here, hit the iron when it's hot. When the person comes to you, want to marry you, want to be with you, just say yes. It's like you want everything like you know, to be exactly what you want. Well, this is nice, but nothing is perfect. Cannot be. You become immediately irrit irritable. Maybe I should like you know, talk to the other person because this person makes me insecure. You go to the other person, you want to talk to this person. You shut the door on someone, you open the door on someone else. It feels like you know, that it's your kind of like your mind play games on you. You cannot make up your mind about something. You feel like, you know, oh, that person is cheating. Maybe they want someone else. Yep, this person wants to come to you and marry you, and you feel like, you know, that you, they feel that you don't want them. <coughs> Excuse me. You keep isolating or deserting this person. They don't feel welcomed by you. They disappear, they come back again, and it's like, well, now what? This is how you become lonely. Okay, it says here, like, you know, your person is really rushing to hold on you and keep really staying with you because they don't want you to be really giving attention to someone else. And I get here that they might be really trying to find out, like, you know, about if you saved money, if you have money. And I get here that it's just like, you know, because they are tight, not tight on their money. They have retired, retirement money and they want really to weigh their options about their finances. But in the same time, I get here, this person is rushing to hold on you and they feel that you are accusing him or her that they are holding on someone else other than you. And I get here, sometimes they feel like, you know, what's wrong with you? I if, Would I like to be calling you day and night if I really want someone else? I don't want someone else. For some situation here that you could be, you are actually choosing, they are actually choosing you. There is no other story. This person is choosing you and they want to be with you. And I get here that they want really to have a really good financial money. They saved money and they want really like you know, to settle down with you. And this person is willing to help you. Sometimes they ask like, you know, if you have money or something. And if you say n no, it shows here that because they are willing to help you and you feel like you know, maybe they are asking me because they want my money. No, it's not like that. But um, you are being loved. Go with the love and don't quit. Um, dear Leo, I hope you enjoy the reading and if you need a private reading, please contact me on my website, mysticalaziza.com. The link for my website is below this video. Um, click on reading prices is on the left upper hand, upper of the page. And when you purchase your reading, please give me a phone call and the phone number is listed on my website. Please watch my business hours. I am on the Pacific time. And um, I do not work Saturday and Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Best of luck for everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.